much. <clears throat> hey Cassie, uh, you're my first uh, video response. Wanted to comment on the church thing. Uh, my parents never got married, uh, and so I I know what you're, what you're going through. The no religion wants us. Why? Because they're breeding obedience, and we're not obedient. 42016, that's going to be easy for me to remember. <laughs> giving everyone bravery, that's a little similar to mine, giving people the knowledge that they have a superpower. So, good for you. Out of the presidential candidates, probably Bernie, but you said out of the blue, like, if I could pick anyone I want. Uh, I don't even know if he's around anymore, but Larry Niven, he's my favorite sci-fi writer. Um, I, 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 I really like the science, I don't like the religion, I don't like government. Um, but I am grateful for the government, uh, and maybe even grateful for some of the religion. Um, I'm sure some of the programs that I benefit in the government started in religion. And religion isn't all bad, just bad enough to keep me away. The cycle of life. Well, the, I think generically you, you, you get produced in a womb and with a sperm and an egg and you, you breathe, you drink, you eat, you get protected, you learn to protect yourself. Uh, you pass that on to someone else and you hope for the best. You hope they, they don't get in an accident, just like you hope you didn't get in an accident, just like your parents hope you didn't get in an accident. <clears throat> or worse yet, you choose to do something stupid or that is contradictory to society. So if you can manage to survive long enough to breed, you generally pass on your genetics. Um, I'd like to introduce a new concept about, I guess you could call it spiritual evolution, um, where we all believe in things for good reason, uh, whether or not it's just because it brings us joy or because it's useful or something other than someone else told me to believe this so I'm going to believe it. That to me is the evolution that I see, <clears throat> that I hope for. Hell yes, I would take a pill. But I would have to know what it thinks is wrong with me. There are some things with me that people might assume was wrong with me, but no, that's just my free will. <clears throat> so I'd have to know exactly what the hell that pill meant, or what it did. Um, I, I do remember thinking these thoughts in high school, well before my tumor, is wondering, well, if I had a tumor, would I really want to get rid of it? You know, didn't, isn't it a part of me? Um, and I have realized that it has been a huge part of me, uh, mostly the asinine parts of me, the angry, the depressed, and the painful parts of me. Um, a, a pill can't get rid of all those memories. Um, and I'm not sure I would want to get rid of some of those. Um, the initial thought is, yeah, wipe, wipe my memory clean. Um, I don't, I don't want to remember any of this crap. Um, but that, that might have meant that I would turn into an insensitive loud instead of an insensitive loudmouth. <laughs> Um, I, I would have been slightly different, for sure. Mickey Mouse, I'm sure, has gotten several votes over the decades, and frankly, he would do better than Trump. And definitely Cruz. Um, I am the most cynical of hardcore cynics when it comes to the medical healthcare industry. Um, the, the reason they charge people for health insurance is because they can. Um, their bottom line is the bottom dollar and they don't give a fuck about 
the patients or how well the medicine is, if it just treats people or if it actually helps people, uh, they don't care. Um, and that's been my experience with the majority of the healthcare system. Only two doctors have I appreciated in the last 20, 30 years, and they are both proponents of medical cannabis. Um, I don't know why I look all fuzzy now. Uh, and and their, their words seem to mean things to me when they speak them. Uh, you know, the, the other doctors are just a bunch of schmucks getting their paycheck, you know, pushing me out the door like I'm some kind of factory product. I'm going on a rant. Well, that's not fair. You didn't say there would be side effects to our super pill. Yeah, if, it, if it's a reality pill, then yeah, it's going to have side effects, and we may as well just chop off all our limbs in order to cure our problems. So no, I wouldn't take that pill either. Um, Alright, I gotta listen to the rest of your tape. I did enjoy them. Um, I'll eventually be able to get my videos online a lot faster than what I'm doing now. Stupid Yahoo um, it is by stop that. Um, but right now it just takes forever. So thank you for playing my question game, Cassie, and I'll talk to you next time.